Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is U4. This is episode 10 of my uh, Patreon Promise Let's Play already and start of a new recording session. Uh, last time we grabbed some lands around Morocco, I think. Grabbed like Kabilia, completely ate them, ate some more lands of Zeus and some other country that was over here, which I've forgotten the name of. Maybe it was Saura. Who knows? Also, yeah, back in England, we could be doing better, but we had a thing with Limburg. We which was in the Empire, and we had like the Emperor fighting against us, so we couldn't do much, so we had a piece out. But hey, we got London, and there's our main trading port now and such. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, yeah, let's continue with our yeah glorious nation of the Duck Scots. Also, we. The new world is like discovered now, even though we don't have the seas in between them, so soon I'll be able to start like conquering over there and maybe explore some more. Also the new world is huge. Like really huge. And I wonder if there's like a, a passage from right to left like between here. Probably. We'll see. Anyway, uh, let's load up the game. And see where we actually are in game. Here we go. There we are. Uh, corruption is growing. Are we still dealing with like uh, overextension? Yeah, so that's okay. Yeah, we're making cores. Uh, we have a colonist going on because we have exploration now. We are working on our green over here. Um, this is still. Oh, that is actually territory. It's probably part of Terraza. Yeah, I uh, might grab that later, sooner or later as well. And yeah, there's a couple of things we need to do. Well, first of all, we have some loans or a loan. We're still losing money. Um, also, let's see. We have diplomats going around. Yeah, even Toledo. We're making claims on Toledo because we can. We got uh, the island of the Balears last time um yeah we cannot fabricate claims on limber yeah limber anglia is like part of limber now which is it's like in a fucking personal union they have some liberty desire but not much um hmm <laughs> they hate me too much um to support their independence i i do not want them to become part of limber because, god damn, I want England for myself. I need to kick out these Anglians. Here, pain. Um, if I declare war on Limburg again, well, I can't really now, but... Limburg is in the Empire, and... That'll be a problem. Indeed, it's in the HRE, the Holy Roman Empire. Um, so, as for this stream, we... Uh, Where's our armies, by the way? There's 16 over, 15 over here. Oh, yeah, and we landed some here because we have some rebel chances going on. Yeah. Okay. Um. So we, this is not really a thing. It'll fix itself. This is a thing. Truces with Anglia is until five years from now, anyway. Same with uh, Sus is. 11 years from now before we can eat them. Um, so, trees with uh, Dendi. Not with Azawad, so we could go take that. And I really want, like, the Ivory Coast. Um, and Kong doesn't even have any uh, allies. Well, then. Right, we should take that. <laughs> um, we cannot make claims on them, unfortunately. Um, we are working on getting exploration. At one point, we'll have like a casus belly against primitives, and I think Africans would also count as primitives. But that'll take a long time. Well, first thing we need to do is. Um, Get rid of all the rebels. 
Uh, also, Tribo Litania hates me, well, I hate them too. No, you're not getting military access uh, claims. Let's leave that open. This I don't really care about. Leon, huh. Leon is 73 years old. Has like near no prestige, and I might actually get a PU on them. So please die, uh, Kings of Leon. <laughs> huh. <laughs> um, didn't expect me making a reference like that myself today. But yeah, um, please die. <laughs> He's 73 years old, he must be dying any day now, and if we get that in a, in a personal union, then we're pretty good. <laughs> we have that, uh, we will probably be able to be strong enough to take on France on our own, or Guyenne even. Uh, otherwise, here we are at max slots, because we still have military access with Azawad. Um, let's stop that. Uh, we had a diplomat course being done. Um, what are my diplomats doing? The one in Limburg we don't really need. The other one is in Thessaly. Yeah, we have a mission to make them friends. They might be an ally. Uh, anyway, as for now, as of what? Cancel military access. Confirm. And keep an eye on those rebels, especially those in the Azores are about to pop up. Same with in Sus and in Saura. Um, Swiss is here, and there's Saura. How about you sit in the middle of them? So can we build any more troops? Yes, we can. Uh, build me a tiny army. And maybe some more... Um, cannons. So, Colony and Arguin, basically done. It is done. Nice. Uh, then we don't need the troops here. Of course, all being done. Uh, let's get rid of them and send them near here. Accepted culture. Highlander is no longer accepted culture. Because <laughs> we're too big. We have... Isn't it Highlander that Scottish here anyway? Um, let's take a look at culture, or accepted culture. Oh, this is Highlanders. Hmm. The rest, though, is accepted. Irish, English, and Scottish. Uh, Wales isn't really, though. <laughs> and down here is not all accepted. It's, yeah, Moroccans and Berbers. And those are all subgroups. I should maybe get to work on making the Moroccan group bigger, but uh, I don't have the Diplo points to spare at the moment. Maybe later on in the game, when we're like high up on Diplo points, we will do that. Uh, let's let the game run some more. Um, yeah, I set my fleet down to pick up those guys. This is now Scottish. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, and the port is on this side, so it takes a while. Get okay, in there. Drop them like here. And it's nothing really we can else we can. Uh, oh, that's cultures here, apparently. They can do. Ah. Thessaly completed the rival arrival mission. Um, so, Thessaly, would you join an alliance? Yes. Do I want that? It's far away, I doubt they'll be able to help, they will help against Bien. But they seem pretty strong. They have lots of green provinces. You know what? Okay, alliance with you guys. Perfect. So religion-wise, oh, they're orthodox, so... Well, still, <laughs> that uh, is okay. Uh, a new mission, Conquer Figuig. Convert Tadle into Catholic. We still have a missionary going on really slowly because our missionaries are terrible. Um, so not do that, not do that, but let's do check where Figuig is. That's actually in 
Tripolitania. We did make him a rival, so we could humiliate them and also take some more lands around here. How are they ally wise? Ally with Ghanem and Azawad. Well, Azawad is nothing. Ghanem is not really a thing. Hmm. It's a good enough uh, reason to attack them. Hmm. Yeah, let's do Royal Mary with Thessaly. But first, I really want those rebels to pop. Like, could be any time, especially those in Saura. Um, meanwhile, let's get this army together. Let's keep the fleet on the Azores. And yeah, mission wise. Construct a ground fleet, you need to have 20 heavy ships and that's so expensive to maintain. So I don't think I'll do that. Um, oh. It's still too much for one province. Okay, you guys um, with the general sit on here. Without the general sit on here. If they pop, then uh, I'll have to attack our army which is standing there already. Okay, um, how are we? There's rebels. In Saura, we'll crush them. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, well, how are we fleet wise? We could build more boats. Hmm. Um, I like having the same number of fleets for protecting trade nodes, so let's just build three barks. Um, we could do that faster over here because we built a couple of ship building things. Uh, I'm building galleys, aren't I? Yeah, that's stupid. Parks. And they're more expensive. Now what? Since we're losing money anyway, that will gain us much more money. Let's wait. Oh, Leon has died, but I guess we didn't get the personal union. They got an heir, even though the guy was 73 years old. Wow. <laughs> so much for that dream. So much for that. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, so one rebel down. This is 6.9 years. Can we, like, up the unrest on the Azores? Maybe a tad more. Or not up the unrest, but meh. <clears throat> Only thing that would help is building a courthouse here, but that's a lot of cash. I want to wait for the uh, rebels to pop up. So next in Seuss. So can this hold this together? Probably. Uh, otherwise, Kabilia. He's coming up soon. It's going on this fort. Um, yeah, only that fort. Here we'll deal our with ourselves. And the Aswadis and Tuats are not far away either. Um. So please come rebels, I don't want to really start a new war while I've got rebels coming on. Also I don't really want to lower my uh, army maintenance while i got rebels going on. Nor do my... F yeah. Nor mothball my fleet. Mm, still having three... Fourth maintenance. They're going to keep these forts here. Well, this fort. You know what? Get rid of that. It's not like Seuss is going to be a big problem one day. <laughs> uh, also, since I have a safe border here, the fort in Tangiers to keep people from moving from Spain into 
Morocco is not as necessary. Also, yeah, I'm allied with Lyon, so is this fort necessary? Hmm. Not really. So I'd probably build this Ceuta instead. Um, since it's not really necessary, I'm going to destroy it. Save myself some more bucks per month. Destroying me two forts, yeah, save me a buck per month. With them off. So still, yeah, forts in here. I, keep, I do want to keep a fort in my capital, that'll help. And here, in London. It is my main trade port, so if anything happens, it would be nice to turn on the fort there. Uh, still losing cash, though. Any other way I can make more money? Hmm. I turned down the army maintenance, but rebels. <laughs> um, stop. Yeah, sending missionaries somewhere that will save some cash. What pulling the fleet would. Um, naval research could be in now. I have more than 43 boats, so I'm not, I'm not losing cash. Cretatla the Catholic. Okay, there's more in Audia. Uh, what's 24? Four, oh, four of them, huh? Look, you built some extra troops. Uh, well, rebels are weaker anyway, so my army here will probably be able to take care of them. Um, which the Seuss rebels shop now. Our source is down to 0 0.7 revolt risk. So, 11.9 years, but it's only because I have troops on there. As soon as I uh, remove the troops from the Azores. Rebels will probably pop. And me being in the province beforehand is a lot easier than sending my troops in via boat. Um. Okay. Come on, yeah, we're winning this uh, thing, dumb damn show. Um, next in Azawadi, into what? Down there. Uh, I'll get the problems back. We'll go down. Um, some in England. 40.7 years will never happen. Take another loan. That's the reason why I should really maybe focus on getting coal. That's Ivory Coast, and that's very good for trade. Hmm. That rebels. Those damn rebels. Uh, lose five army tradition. God damn it. That's a shame. Oh, and this is too much for a desert province. Yeah. Split in half. Uh, gain a base tax with or production, but neither nobility or burgers doesn't really matter much. Um, let's hmm. I need more cash, and the uh, nobility have pretty high influence. So let's side with the burgers for change. Let's turn my manpower recovery speed down though. And here's the Twat Rebels. We'll be able to take them. Um, I'm not going to worry about those in England, although they are at 80%. Hmm. Let's check the unrest map mode here. Um, that's Aberdeenshire in Venice. And Sutherland? What's up here? Because, oh, the Highlanders. Okay, well, fuck it. Not in the Western Isles. Inverness. 
Aberdeenshire. That chance is gone. Um, Balliaz is also gonna rebuild, which I really don't want. Can't up the autonomy there though. Zor's down to 0 0.2. If it's going to be down, if it's it's at zero, then the noble chance will go away. But we're not there yet. Um, let's see, Magnus will be next target. Take a while. Maybe you should speed up. Let's speed up, Dad. And what's done? Uh, Seuss is still colored, so let's do it there. Um, need much more than prestige. I'm at 50 prestige, so I'm gonna go for that. It's still over here. Meanwhile, I'm nice, nicely building manpower up. I'm waiting for all this. Ah, finally, we get a the quest for the new world, and we get explorers and conquistadors. Good. Um, we need three trade boats for that. And we have three here. I was going to make three more, but I didn't. Um, let's instead make like six more. Um, the others don't have things to build them faster yet. That's four, five, six. Those will protect the trade node down here. In the meantime, we'll take this fleet of three and have them embark for the new world there. Go explore stuff. Um, land on the canaries for now. Because we'll need to get an explorer. Um, that cost me 51 Diplo points, which I don't have yet. Damn it. Protect trade around Safi some more. And the loan, choose with Oldenburg over. Lucian Separatist, that's Spaliars. Um, Swiss is kind of low. Magnus is done. Azor is at 0 0.1. There's a 0 0.1 ch chance of pro pro like getting to 100%. Uh, so it could drop like a any month. Or, yeah, it's gone to 0. And now, Rebel Chance there is dropping. And Bali Ares is next. So, let's get one of these tiny armies onto the Balears and then we should be done with that rebel chance so wait until I have like 50 diplo power uh, also how about you get to the coast get a boat boat over here Building those new boats. Okay, now rebel chance on Baliars is quite a lot lower. Only in Seuss is it still a thing. And we've got troops there and it will probably drop soon enough. And yeah. Uh, claim of the week. Sure. I won't say no to that. Um, yeah, we got a Castabelli against them now. I should probably also do some more claims on them. Uh, also, I'm making claims on Toledo still. Wow, my spy network got to 80 sides without being, like, found out. Hmm. Could support rebels in there. <laughs> um. Hmm. Maybe I will. I'll, let's try and do that again. Let's also spy on these guys, and if we're going to war with them. Now, you know what, I kind of want to get Kong. It, well, it'll take me two stability to attack against them, but 
after that I have way more targets down here and I can easily start unifying my lands and I can get like the, the rich gold mines that are like around here as well um, so we're at 61 power so the three boats go land here okay um, so down that Let's get a explorer. Hmm, not very good. Zero zero two one, but uh, at least some some maneuvers, so it's faster. Now we have the explorer option. That's ready. You can click here or let's see. Huh, it used to be like here that button. Where is that option now? I guess it's in here. No. Mission settings. Where did the explore button go? Oh, here it is here. I'm blind. So yeah, we could get a couple of things. Um, let's check like region mode. And I want to see this sea. I think so. That's the Pugwash coast. Let's see if I can find a thing that we can colonize. Um. So yeah, the exploring the Pugwashi coast. Go do that. So yeah, now he'll go do that on his own. Once he's done, he'll land back uh, the sooner the nearest land, which will probably be the Azores. Um, meanwhile, Valiar still has rubble chances. Just can use now the Pope. Ah, rubble chances on. Uh, here have finally gone away. It's so hard to click on these goddamn islands sometimes. There you go. Zeus will come. Uh, also looks like those six boats are ready. You six come together. And you will protect trade in Safi. Go. Okay. And uh, yeah, now we can see the new world with all its nothingness. Um, question though, can we actually colonize there already? Um, it's already done, good. Uh, where's the colonial map mode gone? Um, did I maybe have put that on a button? That's areas? This is colonial map mode, yeah. So here is where I can colonize. It's, yeah, from Iceland, I guess. And there might be any other stuff down here. Um, so, Explorer, go explore uh, St. James's Current, no, Upward Basin then, where's Ulalut Ridge, Pacific Deep, Pugwash, Pugwash. Maybe I'm in the wrong map mode for this. This is areas? How about regions? Yeah, this is the Pacifist Deep. That's the Pugwash Sea. Uh, Uli yeah, this ridge. Let's explore that. Go. Let's see if we can find some more down here. The Conquer or colonize uh, because if we, yeah, we could colonize up here, but it's far away from any other lands. It would give me a stepping stone anyway, so I might just do that. Um, let's do that. Um, should be able to reach. Let's say we uh, first of all, let's get the explorer do its thing. Um, let's say we learn five troops there. 
So take five boats. Let you go over there. Maybe the smartest way to do things, but now I can right click on the boats. No? Okay. Um, anyway, otherwise, just get the other fleet away. And uh, you guys land on here. Okay. You guys get on the boat. It'll get a good mix on the boat. Like, uh, what's in here? Three dudes, a, yeah, a horsey, and a cannon. That's uh, probably good enough to hold the province from the Unatus. You guys will go here ish. Uh, let's get that colonial mode again. A couple of spots to go here. Let's take the further spot south. It's not like I know much else about this land. I have no idea what trade resources there are. Uh, I can check development though. This is a good one. Um, hmm. But this is for the south and will give me more access down south. And yeah, lands wise is what I want. Um. It doesn't really matter that much, it's just a couple of spots. Let's let's go colonize this land. This is where Columbus uh, will land, basically. <laughs> let's send uh, the thing. And we'll take our five boats. Uh, oh, it's already going there. Get over there, please. The yeah, boat is dying because this is far away from any port. Six percent chance of damage every turn. Uh, lost claims. Damn it. I think that's in England. In France, even. Okay, drop the troops. The colonists will arrive sooner or later. And there's some ladies as well. Meanwhile, boats go back uh, here. Actually, get them dig together. No. Get the fleet back together. So we can get stuff off the body yours. Off, uh, off the Azores. There. We won against the natives. Wow. <laughs> How did that happen? So, rebel chances, still some in the body ours. Uh, Zeus is decaying though, and. Ugh, the source is coming back up. God damn it. Hmm. If I had a cash, I'd build that unrest reducing building here. Uh, it'll take ages for them to come, so. Get them out there anyway. Twenty-eight years. It's Sixteen years here. What? Get them out. Fuck it. So we'll, we'll deal with the rebels when they come up. It's probably smarter. Too many military leaders. Yeah, you have two generals. Um, and an admiral. Okay. Well, you are not as good. Oh, and you're here in the new world. So I can't get rid of you, really. Work is no, I can. No leader, good. So, get rid of you. We'll keep the the four siege guy. Um, don't like local unrest. Give him the more local autonomy. Good. Okay, fuck it. Let them rebel on there on the balayards. Just get the troops out. Uh, fort is useless now. Get on the boat. 
get to get the army together there. Uh, I have seven more troops to be fit. Let's do another tiny army. That's exactly seven troops. I think we'll attack Kong. We have enough admin power to buy up um, our stability. So it's, interruption is huge. Uh, religious unity is a thing. I kind of need is religious ideas so I can convert faster. Um, right. Maybe I should wait until I unlock this. And... Hmm... It's already 26. Could also try going to war again in England. At least, conquering these lands will not give me religious problems. The thing is, I'm I keep conquering Sunni lands, and I have like no power to convert them at the moment. This goes so slow. Like it's, the first call missionary is still at 82.4%. Um. So yeah, might be smarter if I expand to focus more on England. But uh, how is the hate map, coalition map? They still hate me pretty much. Vienna as well. I'd rather wait with uh, wait with this until Guyenne's power has gone away. Uh, this is not at 60 yet. There is this at 20. Uh, so it should go for Kong. Yeah. Let the rebels come. Fuck it. Um, let's get my army together. Let's see their troop composition. Let's go here. This can hold 30. This can hold 23. That's better there. Okay. 43 with 27, 10, 6. Could use some more cannons, but well, we're at max limit at the moment. As for now, get on the boat. Drop the boat here for now. Yeah, let's uh, go grab Ivory Coast. Kong. Kong, uh, you still have any. have no allies? So we're losing money like crazy. Well, getting Kong will help with that. Uh, but no allies, just lots of conquest and reconquest going on. Um, okay, that's fine. Would cost me two years yeah, stability. It's worth it. Okay. Buy my stability back up. Now we'll save for getting religious ideas. And now I just land the fleet there. Uh, I, 20, half of my army is uh, probably good enough for here. How much, how strong can they be, really? Also, uh, since I'm at war, I can raise more taxes and that'll help. Start the fleet. So now, land the troops. Um, yeah, natives lose rank. Settler chance goes down. I don't want that. Settler chance up for some cash. Let's do that. The faster we colonize, the better. Okay, leave the guy, crush him. I 
Do I have military seven? I have military eight. So it'll be okay. <laughs> so I have way more troops. <laughs> um Okay, uh leave guys, move out, split off the cannons. Uh, you move over here, you main dark force, yeah. You'll follow them to the end probably. Their end, which is probably in Cape Coast. And there's the Baliars, of course. Fleet. Um, detached blockade. And then we'll go deal with the Baliars. They'll uh, get some separatism here, but whatever. Meanwhile, attacking down there. Fleets are getting back up. Yep. Separatists. One. Uh, okay. Split up a dude. Get in there. Oh, you grab this. You split up a dude. Uh, you also have like the good general, right? So, yeah. Take. Take a horse. Oh, shouldn't that have a general on it? So... Right, split up everything. Take a horse. Get to the capital. Help the siege. Okay. Meanwhile, we'll focus on punishing the Baliars. There's... Uh, claims going on. Fine. Uh, also here, let's support some rebels in Toledo. Because why not? Uh, oh, this still costs money, yeah. And they're all at zero percent chance, so they'll probably never actually pop. Huh. Okay. Um. So. Kill those filthy rebels. Also, we want Sierra Leone. Um, which means we're done down here. Hmm. The thing is, I kind of need admin points, because I kind of need religious. And if I take all of this, I'm going to have to core all of that. I could make them a vassal. Um, no, a protectorate. Never mind. You can't, like, annex protectorates. So, give me anything you have. Oh boy, some people might hate me. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, give me all your money. We'll just have to deal with it. Send them on. Okay, um, get the army together like in the middle. And start coring that. I guess I could release them now. But the, the coin cost is not super much anyway. There. Um, uh, you. Oh. Hold here for a second. Um. Okay. Get troops of the Baliers. Uh, 
I should use the shortcut for that. But just press A instead of every time that little thing. Or um, meet up over here and up the. These are still sitting around. There's some land here. Huh, we'll, we'll find stuff. Meanwhile, New World Colony is uh, getting along. Any uh, missions? Turn Rodfuck into a city, that'll happen. Okay. You guys merge. You guys merge. And now we can start making claims on my neighbors here as well. Um, let's see. So Toledo, we don't need to claims as much anymore. Uh, do make all the claims on the Politana that I can. Still, yeah, having a lot of uh, losing all the cash. Um, once this is scored, though, I'll be able to start a trading company here and send that money towards the new towards the English Channel. We'll make more big bucks. Um, how are my merchants doing? There's one in Safi and one in North Sea. Um, 1.44 in Safi is not much. Well, first wait until we're done here and maybe conquer some more. Before I send a merchant. Also, I might get one if I start a trading company down here. Uh, we don't have deals, ways to deal with inflation yet. So, this is unity getting worse. <sighs> and corruption is getting worse. <clears throat> getting very corrupt. Ah, nice. So, we can explore the sea over here. Uh, let's take a look at regions again. So, what is this? The Putlian Deep? Oh, this might be the Putlian Continent or whatever. Um, so, let's see. Go explore. There's no Putlian thing. Um, South Atlantic, not really interesting. Although... Soon I want to see more of Africa, get more of the Ivory Coast that goes all the way down here. So, uh, do explore the South Atlantic. Mm. Sure, go explore the South Atlantic. And I've got making claims in Manding. And also make some claims in House of Land. And I do have my like having my fleet in like one spot. Really shouldn't Oh it's so easy to like grab more of uh Africa now. But I need a religious idea so I could start converting uh, them a lot faster to my religion. So my religious unity isn't as bad. So why you don't go don't you go on rebel suppression? If any rebel enters this part of the country you'll go kill him. Um More rebels going on, not really. What? Let's save a ton of cash. That needs to go all the way down. That's. I don't want to have that all the way down. Also in a new world. Um. 
sure, make the burgers happy. Although this gives me board production and toch hier zijn monden, but local unrest. But lo more the local tax modifier in London is pretty good. Huh. So share the maps with Toledo? Sure. Doing its thing. Grab some more islands. Conquering some more over here would be nice as well. But wait, just wait. Gosh. Three loans still. Mm. Cut one missionary is finally nearly done. Hopefully, uh, converting these uh, fetishes, I think, down here will be a lot easier than uh, the Sunnis. And that way, I'll be able to get my religious unity up a tad. Um. Or maybe I just attack something for the money? Hmm. Yeah. Maybe with uh, House of Land, I just take. Whatever's in the ivory goes trade node. Doesn't keep the last of their goddamn lands unless there's a gold mine. Like that. Yeah, let's just take a little bit of land from uh, the uh, house of land and be done with that. Also, oh, Chipotana, start metric done. I'll make all the claims I can. Asaland, make a claim on Gold Ghosts, definitely. Make claims there. But again, that would be spent more admin points. But gold mine, straight for the taking, right here. Uh, but do they have like allies? Azawad and Trarza. Azawad, another thing. I don't even see Trarza. Not that thing. It's part of the. Uh, Ivory Coast. <sighs> hmm. Just really wait though. Gosh. Also nearing the end of the episode. <laughs> um. It's late though, it's not paper controller. Let's see when these cores are done. Oh, hey. Done exploring this. Good. So, can you explore the coast of Africa? South Atlantic coast, yeah. No. But it would uh, be this, probably. This is South Atlantic. Let's say that would be not South America, but here. So go do that. Hmm. 
Japan. Hmm. Oh, my four seat general is dead. Mm, well, let's wait until I actually need a general to roll a new one. Especially since I'm about to drop in power projection. When you're under 25, you can only have one leader, but that's a cost in military points. Um, let's wait until the course is done. See if we can start a trade company down here. That would get us hopefully another merchant. Then we can start sending more trade towards the uh, English Channel. And get us some cash. Um, prestige. People influence will be able to get easy to get later with uh, religious ideas. Also, especially religious ideas would be very good for that uh, Cassus Belly. That I would get. Um, explore some more. Explore this. Explore everything you can. <laughs> um, uh, here comes the course. So now, can I start a trade company here? Yeah. Got less stocks here. It's fine. Uh, does that, like, give me an extra merchant? No, because I need to be 51% of the province trade power in the region. And I have 2.5%. Probably because I need some of those natural harbors, like here and here. Hmm. Okay. Um, as for now though, let's end the episode here, I guess this was rebel busting exploration, mostly. But yeah, I gotta have builds ups in uh, EU4 as well. Next time... I think some more waiting. It is pretty smart to get religious ideas, get the Casus Belli against the heathens and heretics before I start conquering more. In the meantime I'll deal with some rebels and try and save some more money. Although maybe one tiny little war against House of Land, get that gold mine. This tiny little war. We'll see. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, uh, that's the end of this episode. Dutch Scots are doing pretty good getting into Africa, getting into the New World. We'll see what happens next time. Um, so, thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later.